here at the farm that I manage about an eighth of a mile from my house, uh, just moved the cattle to this paddock. Uh, we practice something here called holistic management. And I know you're probably wondering, what does this have to do with beekeeping? But just hang tight. Um, this holistic management uh, breaks down even further. We practice something called intensive grazing or mob grazing. Um, and basically, we set up a temporary fence inside of a permanent pasture, giving them small areas every day. What you see here from this temporary fence up to the one up there, you can see the white stakes, is about an acre and a quarter. So this will be their paddocks for today. Every day they are moved to a different paddocks. And what that does, for instance, they were just over here this morning. You can notice how much they have eaten it down compared to this side. Look at the aster, which the cattle do eat. One of the things I've noticed over the last couple years practicing this grazing method and having my bees here on the farm is that what happens is, like right now it's almost mid-October, and if you see that cow right up there with the white face right there, just on the other side of that poly wire right there, there is some Canadian thistle blooming in mid-October, folks. And let me explain why that is. These cattle being moved every day to a different location. You see that one there eating the aster. What happens is, is they eat the plant down, and the plant wants to reproduce. That's, that's its main goal. So it shoots back up the flower so it can go to the seeds again. And then the cattle come in and they eat it back down. So it just keeps shooting up new flowers and going back to blooms. That is a good thing for my bees. Um, I recently seen a post on Facebook that talked about farmers and beekeepers and how the farmers didn't need the beekeepers. Because grain nowadays is genetically modified, so it does everything pretty much itself. So grain farmers are not needing beekeepers for pollination services of any kind. Well, I firmly believe that pollinators are needed on the farms. The farms, most farms today, are just heading in the wrong direction. They're causing more problems than they are becoming part of the solution. These cattle sequester carbon every single day. Every single day, folks, we're laying down carbon. The bees work with the cattle, and the cattle work with the bees. It's a beautiful absolutely beautiful relationship there's nothing that makes me happier than coming up here on a daily basis setting up these guys new area and moving them and while in the midst of moving them i see my bees working in the pasture right beside me that's how it should be folks we've got to start thinking about what we were doing. Start healing the land instead of destroying it. A lot of people would say, oh, it takes too much time to go up there every day and move the cattle. I wouldn't get anything done. Well, I just moved 40 head in 45 minutes to an hour. And that's moving them, setting their area up, that's moving their mineral feeder and moving their water. Now I get to enjoy them for a couple minutes before I had to go home and start my next order of business. But anyway, folks, just wanted to share my thoughts on holistic grazing and beekeeping going together. So, if you're interested, and find a place to put your bees on a farm. That's who you want to look for, is a grass-fed beef 
farmer or any kind of a grass-fed operation, pasture, raised poultry, they're probably not going to use chemicals. They're probably going to welcome you in, into their farm. So good luck. And thanks for watching, folks.